Alright, so last night I was working on my heli trying to get <coughs> my um, tail here uh, smooth. I had to change the uh, slider um, because I noticed my other slider had a. It was, the servo was having a bit of a tough time moving it, and I found out it was a little tighter. So I changed it. Um, I also took my servo apart because I thought there was, I don't know, maybe too much grease, dirty or something. Seems fine, but um, I'll test it out after, now that I did that. Um, and I went ahead and put a little grease, cleaned it and put a little grease on the gears again. Um, the problem I was having is when I had it on heading hole mode, it would be very slow going in. It was fine out, but in rate mode it was pretty fast either way, so something weird was going on. I've changed the head, uh, the tail, the gear, because I thought it was a gyro. I even changed the gyro again. So this is my, uh, my uh, piezo gyro. I apologize, it's kind of early here. Um, so I tried this again, and I'm still, I was still having a, that issue, slow, slowness there. But as you can see, there's no battery right now, nothing. And what I found out was this: if I just move the uh, um, link with the servo, and there's an LED and my fiber on this. Remember, there's no battery or anything. There, I have nothing plugged in. And uh, look what happens. Everything lights up. <coughs> and um, I thought that was kind of interesting. <coughs> because obviously the servo is plugged in like uh, on the gyro. Um, and then this is my Fly Sky receiver. I don't know if you can see it there, but anyway, um, see there's no battery plugged in or anything, but yet yeah, it's sending current through the receiver. Now, this is a belt, by the way. This is my belt, uh, 450, and now. This is my uh, version 2 torque tube, and again, there is no battery in it, so there's nothing plugged in it. <coughs> Still has the same uh, 306 high voltage uh, Trinity servo. This one has the Asan 250 gyro, and it's also torque tube. It does have the same servos, white servos that I'm using or testing as this one here. Which is the only other thing I can think of. But I don't know. Um, now, again, this is torque tube. Same uh, so servo. And you can see the tail is uh, torque tube. And there's my uh, LED. And look what happens on this one. When I move the link with the gyro, it does the same exact thing. So these are my fiber uh, LEDs that I have plugged in. So I have no idea why they do that, but if anybody has an idea why they're doing that, I don't know. Um, well, let me know. Um, same Fly Sky receiver, uh, different motor, uh, torque tube, uh, same servo, but uh, I can do Christmas lights without any batteries. So, there you go. 
Um, I thought that was kind of interesting. I mean, I know a motor is crazy current when you turn it, but should it be going all the way through? I don't know. Um, it still works fine. Uh, this one flies pretty okay. I need to remove these servos. I don't like them. Um, other than that, um, I don't know. Maybe somebody else can do a test on them. Or their helis with different servos. And uh, see if you get the same effect with uh, FlySky uh, receivers. Again, this is a different gyro than that one. So, that's the other interesting thing. Um, I don't know. Maybe they go straight to the negative and positive on the um, receiver, which makes no sense, but I'm not an expert on this. I just thought I'd show you the cool, interesting phenomenon that I found. Well, maybe not a phenomenon, but you know what I mean. <laughs>